What's up, Bison fans? Mike Still here. It's been an exciting first half of action in the Canada West Conference with plenty of highlights all across all of our Bison Varsity teams. Let's take a look at some of the top plays now. It was a memorable 2018 season for Bison receiver Dylan Sherratt. He finished third in program history in both receptions and receiving yards. One of the fifth year receiver's most memorable plays came against Calgary when he made a draping sideline grab with the defender all over him. Down 33 points, Manitoba looking to make something happen here. Gutelier under pressure again, he rolls to his right, signaling his receivers downfield, launches, has a man at the sidelines, one-handed catch, and they signal it is complete, and Dylan Schrott, what a great play. Transition to women's hockey now, where the defending national champions are off to a blistering pace once more. They're second ranked in the nation and are just two points back of top spot in the Canada West Conference. One of the catalysts for this has been forward Carissa Kirkup, who has four goals on the season, flashing her blistering speed on multiple occasions. Arguably Kirkup's most memorable goal in the year came when she went end to end against the Regina Cougars and found the back of the net. Middle of the ice, Kirkup, who's steaming past everybody, still going. Here is Kirkup, makes a move, she scores! And Marissa Kirkup showing that speed. Women's soccer is up next, where Madison Wilford had a tremendous year in net for the Bisons. What's more impressive is the fact that the fourth year goaltender came back to the team both this year and last year to help out after injuries to starter Justina Yarmosko. She recorded four straight clean sheets on the season. One of those clean sheets came against the University of Winnipeg, and Madison Wilford had to make a huge save in that contest on a penalty kick to preserve at the time a one to nothing, an eventual two to nothing victory for the Bisons. Stopped by Wilford. The men's volleyball team is quite young this year with just two players on the roster in more than their second year of eligibility. That hasn't deterred the team, however, as they're off to a strong start to the first half of the season. One of the reasons why is fourth year Kevin Nagus, who's been all over the court. His 145 total kills is top, top 10 in the conference, and his 13 service aces is no slouch either. Three of those service aces came back, two back, two back against nationally ranked Alberta in an impressive run. Nagus, another ace, taking the Bisons to the technical with three straight aces. The men's hockey team has struggled with their fair share of injuries during the first half of the season as well, but they've shown tremendous character, grit, enthusiasm, effort, resolve, and everything else you can think of, being able to bond and stay together as a team. One of the key catalysts for this has been third year forward Nick Zajak, who leads the team with 13 points in 16 games played. Arguably his most memorable highlight of the first half came in a well-rounded play where he laid the boom down on a UBC player and then continued to jump up in the rush and finished it off with a goal. Clayton had a great golden opportunity there and he gets crunched hard by Nick Zajac and they're gonna come in transition. Here come the Bisons. Franco right in front to Zajac. Zajac scores! What a goal! Cross ice from the corner to Nick Zajac. He goes bar down. The men's basketball team was handed a tough first half schedule, which included facing the likes of defending national champion Calgary, as well as nationally ranked UBC and Alberta. Despite this, the team has continued to play vintage Bison basketball, playing hard on both ends of the floor with tough, aggressive defense, as well as strong transition offense. One of the key cogs in the machine has been fifth year forward Malik Irwin, who's averaged 22 minutes this season, having bounced back from an ACL tear last year and is the ultimate role player for this squad. A perfect example of that is this diving three-point block he recorded against Regina, utilizing his length and athleticism to the fullest. Gets the ball back, Hamilton for three. Great block right there. And Hamilton's going to show some respect to a guy who shows some hustle right there in Malik Irwin. The women's basketball team doesn't play a particularly flashy style out there on the court. They simply out-grind and out-hustle you to get it done. 
One of the big reasons for this is the depth they have all the way through their roster, and they went 5-0 this year for the first time in 21 years. Three players that had a huge impact on that are Addison Martin, Taylor Randall, and Claire Harvey, as evidenced by this hustle play, where Harvey records the block, Martin pushes it up the court, and Randall finishes it off with a tremendous three-point play. Taking the knock screen, and Claire Harvey with a great block on Lichtenwald. She can do that, one of the best blockers in the conference. Taylor Randall, a little bit of a fake, and she goes right baseline for the and one. Switching back to football now, and so nice, we had to show you it twice. Just kidding. This time, it's Tristan Dice with the one-handed sideline grab, trying to best his teammate, Dylan Sherratt. Tristan's been doing this all year in practice, so it's no surprise that he was able to make this ludicrous one-handed grab against the Dinos. And the Bisons looking to move it just a little bit. Stalled offensively so far. Coutelier is going to take a shot down the field. One-handed and hauled in by Tristan Dice. What a catch. Takes it down inside the 20. Are you kidding me? We're back to women's hockey now because in case you didn't already know, they're pretty darn good. The team has a variety of players who at one point or another played in the States. One of those is fourth-year Jordan Zacharias, who has seven goals on the season. One of her top plays came against Lethbridge when she went, Roof Daddy. She faced pressure so quickly, got it out over to Jordan Zacharias, who's streaming, and she makes a nice move back and oh, top oh, jump oh, scores. Wow. Beautiful goal by Jordy Zacharias. She made a great move over to her backhand and just roofed it past low cues. Transitioning back to the court now for women's volleyball, where 50-year Tori Studler made her season debut against Brandon. She had an exceptional performance with over 20 kills on the weekend. One of those kills came on a tremendous cross net set from Kelsey Jordan. Say that five times fast. Here's the clip. Bobcats lead by one. Pass from Abbott is a good one. They go outside to Studler and she rips it down the line. Huge kill from number 11, Tori Studler, as she needed that one desperately to keep the Bison side in it. Thanks everyone for tuning in and watching the top plays from the first half of the season. Be sure to come out and support your Bisons as they commence the second half of the season in early January. And let's get interactive with this baby. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite highlight from the first half of the season was. Go Bisons!